Hey folks, Chris Gordon back with you, and uh, I'm going to call this part two of the Matteo Mancuso uh, lick uh, or line that he played on the Rick Beato show that has been somewhat of an obsession with me for the past couple of days. My first video, I just kind of broke down my fingering, and over the past couple of days, I've set aside a little bit of time to uh, focus on looping it, and then maybe, I don't know, trying to develop it in my own way, and maybe find a way to incorporate the concept not the line itself, but the concept into my own playing. So I wanted to share with you today how I did that or my approach to it and some of the ideas that I came up with uh, that didn't deviate from the line itself, but my approach to the line. So let's check it out and see what happens. <laughs> setup for this is, uh, again, because I'm using a pick, it's going to not have the same sonic quality as uh, Mancuso's does, Mateo's, uh, obviously because he has such a gorgeous tone with that, that finger work he does. So, uh, again, this is not in any way to uh, try to outplay it or, you know, nothing like that at all. It's just very inspiring. Um, and actually, more importantly, I like the line. I think the line is actually the, the it's a win-win because the line is so cool. Okay, so. Kind of mimicking a little bit of Pat Martino's tone here where I rolled the tone pot off completely. Uh, I, I think I said this before, I, I never do that, but I kind of like that feel. I think one of the things that I uh, am continuing to focus on, uh, because it is a bit of a struggle, is <clears throat> letting go of that accent or that punch, what I call the, I call it the punch on that first note, because it's that downstroke. But I like the accent of it, if you will, but just letting it flow. Really relaxing the hands. And then when I was messing with this, I was really kind of working on my timing, and I decided to kind of do a Demiola thing, where I muted. So it's kind of like uh, Frank Gabali and uh, Al Demiola had a love child, I guess. I don't know. It helped me a lot with was really hearing that rhythmic kind of special in that sweep so it's kind of like a gambali di miola idea where i'm sweeping but i'm muting like di miola would it's got this really kind of nice percussive effect the other thing i'm doing there with that percussion thing is something i've, I've been doing live for a very long time um and i never really think about it when i'm doing it but uh something i was messing with many many years ago So I'm going to not mute with the picking hand. I'm actually, uh, I'm fretting, but I'm not pressing down. I'm just touching. So we all remember when we first had to learn the F chord or something like that, and we, you know, we weren't really pressing down enough, that kind of thing. So I kind of reverted back to that idea of not pressing on the notes, but just touching the strings over those frets. And there's kind of, you can still hear the harmony to an extent. Kind of like a, kind of like a shadow mute, I guess. There's a, there's, there's a phrase, shadow muting. But it's great because it's so much more drum oriented. Now, and you can even add if you'd like, maybe end it with a harmonic. 
because you're already in that zone of touching, just touching the strings. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Something like that, maybe. And then I'll go back to... I've got it at 120 to start, so I'm kind of starting there just to get the. Just to get that lock. progress with this so far uh, it's part of my regimen uh, really like it and again big thanks to uh, uh, Matteo for the inspiration behind it and of course two of my huge heroes Franklin Bali and Alvi Miola uh, just ex trying to expand the idea all right I promise uh, the next part of that pentatonic thing is coming <laughs> I keep uh, delaying that but it's coming I promise all right everyone have a great day <laughs>